Okay, my name is Tim Bogan. I'm a former president of the United States Table Tennis Association. I'm very interested in the Hall of Fame. I've written many profiles of the very best players over the years, and I want to introduce my friend, my longtime friend, 40, 50 years, the current president of the... What are you? Of the U.S. Table Tennis Hall of Fame Board of Directors. Gee, that's impressive, right? And how long have you been? The this will be my fifth year, mm -hmm. and uh, as you know, the Hall of Fame has had three presidents, and I'm the third. The first was one of the founding uh, uh, people involved in the Hall of Fame, Jimmy McClure, yes. who was president for... How 20 many? years, I think. 20 plus years. Yeah, we couldn't get rid of him, yes. And followed by Steve Isaacson, who had the idea of forming a... Uh, U.S. Table Tennis Hall of Fame in 19 in, in 19 uh, what 69, but it, it wasn't actually formed until 79 or 80 with the yes. first yes yes 66. I think he got the idea, and it was appearing first in Tennis Magazine, which seemed a very strange place, right? But. Uh, Steve had a bit of an argument with the then president, and uh, there was no follow-up on it until 1979, when the executive director pushed for it. Right. Now, there have been an awful lot of people inducted. We have about 140 profiles of people. You can find them, of course, on the internet. And uh, some are stronger and more prestigious than others. But uh, last night, for example, we had a, uh, what was it last night? Well, we had our annual Hall of Fame induction banquet, ah. which we have, we have every year at this time at the U.S. National. Uh, it's been here more than anywhere else uh, since we've been playing in Las Vegas the first time in 1976. Six. Yeah. 1976. And and who appeared at the banquet last night? Besides me? Yeah. <laughs> well, we had about 60 at the banquet, and we inducted uh, uh, three players and one contributor, and we uh, also honored a person who uh, received what they call the uh, Mark uh, Matthews Life. Lifetime Achievement Award. And who won that? Uh, some guy named Dick Evans. That's you. Well, that yeah. must be me. My God. <laughs> there are only about 15 people. 15 people who have won Lifetime Achievement no, Award. No, no, only 13. I'm the lucky 13th one. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. The first one was um, uh, Bobby Gusikoff, I yes. think, in uh, 1998, I believe. Yes. He was inducted. Yeah. And they inducted him each, one person each year since that time. So. And uh, last night, Jack Howard was one of the inductees, right? No, Jack Howard was a presenter. Oh, well, I wish I'd have been there. Yeah, all well, right. you were uh, there. Oh, I was? <laughs> yes, okay. So, Jack Howard was a presenter for uh, a fellow um, ping pong diplomacy team member uh, from here, uh, who's now here in uh, Las Vegas, Errol Rusick. Yeah. And Wait a minute, what, what is ping pong diplomacy? Well, you should speak to that, Mr. Bogan, since, since you were a part of the team that went to China. Ah, yes, I remember you now. Say yes. a little about yeah. ping yes. pong diplomacy. Yes, I remember. Uh, do we continue this? Are we still on, or have we filled enough, enough time for you? <laughs> Okay. It's good? Yeah. Huh? We've streamed along what? We could do a lot more. But and we uh, didn't even curse.